Well, hey there, Super Summer Readers. How you doing? Thanks for being with us today. My name's Matt Wood. Maybe you know me from the WHB Channel 9. It depends on whether or not you get up really, really early. They put me on very, very early in the morning. I have to do a lot of reading. Good thing is, um, I like reading. Do you like reading? You want to read a book with me? I actually have one of my favorites here. Have you ever read Charlie and the New Baby? It's by Reed Drummond. That's Charlie. Actually, Charlie's a real pup. Have a look. That's the author, Miss Reed, and that's your dog, Charlie. They have the same kind of hair color. Huh? She says Charlie loves bacon. Do you love bacon? I love bacon. Charlie likes naps, too. You like naps? You can have some bacon and a nap after the book. You want to read with me? Okay, tell you what. Let's get going. Charlie and the New Baby by Reed Drummond. Here we go. Well, howdy. Charlie the ranch dog here. You can just call me Charlie. Life sure is good out here on the old ranch. Sun's shining, kids are playing, birds are chirping, the cattle are happy. And mama's rubbing my belly. I love it when mama rubs my belly. <sighs> Life sure doesn't get any better than this. It's good to be the king of the ranch. <gasps> Wait a minute, what's going on? Did I miss something? Where's mama? Where'd all the kids go? Wait, what? What is that? Do you see that? They're carrying a calf. What's going on? What are they doing? Wait, 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 wait. They're taking the calf in the house. But everyone knows calves don't belong in the house. I better go investigate this. I have now officially seen everything. Well, this calf does look brand new. She must be a brand new baby. Maybe she's lonely. Maybe she lost her mama. Maybe she needs a little tender, loving care. Mama and the kids are perfect for that job. They give me tender, loving care all the time. They scratch my ears, super big ears right here. They feed me lunch. I live for lunch. Hmm? They spend time with me and they tuck me into bed at night. Yep, it's all TLC all the time for me. Hey, wait, that's my blanket. I've always loved that blanket. Now they're giving the calf a bath? You know, it's been a while since I've had one of those. Wait a minute, where's mama going? Hey, maybe she's making me dinner. Is it dinner time? Huh, dinner's my life. Wait, where are we going? Where are you going? Where's she going? What's going on? Wait, do you hear that sound? That's the sound of my stomach growling. I haven't eaten in a long, long time. At least an hour. I'm so hungry I, I could faint. All right, hey, now they're tucking her in, in my bed. That's exactly how they tuck me in. Boy, that soft bed of mine sure does look comfy. Is it bedtime already? But. What about my bed? Wait, what? I have to sleep on the floor? Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Oh, well. Nothing really left to do but get some shut-eye, I guess. Maybe I'll dream about a happier time. Long, long ago. A time when a dog could lie down in his own bed. A time when a dog could get a bath and a belly rub from time to time. A time before the silly old cat ever showed up. Mm. Hey. Wait, what? What are you? Charlie can howl, huh? You see him? I mean, he's getting after it. Look at what? Oh, oh that got everybody running to the kitchen. Look at them coming. They hear me howling, and here they come. The calf is up. So what do, we, what do we do now? What do we do about this? Oh, opening the door. Is it outdoor time now? Is that where we're going? What are we going to do? Is it time for us to go outside? <sighs> this is more like it. Don't worry, everyone. There's plenty of me to go around. I'm getting my ears scratched now. And it looks like there's enough tender love and care around here for everyone. Even Abigail. That's what they named the calf. The new baby has a name, Abigail. Charlie the new baby, Charlie and Abigail. 
Great book, huh? I told you it was a great book. It is. It's one of my favorite ones. I'll tell you what, though. Don't let it be your only one this summer, huh? Those super summer readers out there, make sure you keep active. Make sure you keep opening and closing all those books and reading everything in between. You'll have a great summer, I promise. We'll see you next time.